Hey, what's up folks? This is Jesse with Keeping Real Finance, the channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. Well, today's video is just like the thumbnail says, stake your PDEX and get 70% in rewards. So this is the real deal, it is legit, and you can even do this from places uh, such as the US, which oftentimes we do not have opportunities like this like the rest of the world does. Now for everybody else in the world, you always get these opportunities, good for you. <laughs> now, that being said, what I'm gonna do in today's video is kind of give you a little bit of recap on what's happened since my last PDEX video. So I did a video on them roughly somewhere around like five or six months ago, something like that. An initial one, then I did a follow-up on why it's a game changer. And I haven't done any videos between now and then. I've basically just been pulled in a million different directions. And so there's a lot that's happened with Pokedex since then. And I'm gonna recap some of that in the video. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how you do this in common sense language, which is how I like to hear it, right? <laughs> so really, I think anybody could do this if you wanted to. And I wanted to share it with you because it's not every day that up to 70% staking reward is available. So that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button. If this is your first time to the channel, Channel, make sure to subscribe and if you click the bell you'll be made aware whenever I post time sensitive content just like this and now let's get it going so as I mentioned in the intro I posted my original couple of videos on Pokedex roughly about five to six months ago and for those who don't know Pokedex is basically just a decentralized exchange or DEX and that is on Polkadot, okay? So it's, it's on Polkadot's blockchain. Now, uh, PDEX blows away the competition, and here's just a few factors why. So interoperability, it's got that huge benefit with being on Polkadot. 500,000 TPS, that's transactions per second, that is the highest I have seen anywhere for any project, period. So super fast, all right? The scalability on, with this thing is, is off the charts. Uh, zero network fees. Uh, it's, it also got high frequency trading, which is one of the things that really kind of piqued my interest when I was originally reading about it, all right? Now you can uh, see even more, there's an entire chart on all this stuff uh, in the video that I did, which is PDEX is a game changer, here's why. So fully recommend checking that out uh, also if you're watching this video. Now, since that time, basically, Pokedex has had uh, big news that's dropped in terms of the successful launch of their mainnet on September 29th, uh, with next steps, including the launch of the Polka IDO launchpad, um, the Polka Pool, and the Pokedex order book. So all those things are kind of right around the corner, uh, getting this thing fully operational, right? Uh, but in the meantime, before that can happen, the network uh, essentially has to be secured. And the way to do that is by migrating existing PDEX tokens from Ethereum to Pokedex and staking them, all right? Now, in full disclosure, I had not been staking my PDEX and I bought it a while ago, a long time ago, okay? Sometimes this happens in crypto when you get too many coins and lo and behold, things kind of fall through the cracks. And then, you know, a couple weeks go by, a month goes by, whatever. And then you look back and you go, hey, what am I doing here? I need to be staking this, right? So I bought it on KuCoin and it basically had just been sitting there. I, I, I kind of forgot about it, right? And then as the universe would have it, as things kind of come around like they do, uh, one of my friends on Twitter said, uh, they, they did a post about it and they tagged me in it saying, wow, you know, these, these PDEX rewards are amazing. So shout out to you, Andy, right? So uh, for those who haven't done it yet, but are interested in earning roughly 70% rewards, and one caveat I would say here is that when this first came out two months ago, um, the rewards were higher than that, all right? Uh, they do go down over time, essentially as more and more is staked. So the earlier you get in, the better, and this, this number kind of floats down. But regardless of that, whether it's 70%, 60%, 50%, 40%, that is amazing. Those are like the best rewards you can find anywhere. 
So this is definitely an opportunity that you do not want to pass up, all right? So, all you have to do is the following steps, all right? So, step one is download the browser extensions for MetaMask and Polkadot.js. So, I personally use Chrome uh, as my browser. And with Chrome, it is in the top right corner. You can update your browser extensions. All you're essentially doing is downloading an Ethereum wallet, which is MetaMask, and a Polkadot wallet, which is Polkadot.js. That's it, all right? Really easy. Step two, send your PDEX from KuCoin, Uniswap, Gate.io uh, to your MetaMask wallet. So as I had mentioned, I personally bought mine on KuCoin. And by the way, I do have referral links in the video description for free money bonuses for KuCoin as well as other platforms. Uh, if you follow those links, you can basically get a bonus. You also help support the channel. So big thanks all around, but just wanted to throw it out there that KuCoin is in there and that's one that I use, all right? Uh, I personally have not used Gate.io and uh, Uniswap, for the most part, I've sort of avoided because of the Ethereum gas fees, right? So I primarily do it through KuCoin and uh, the way I did it before was I bought Tether on Coinbase. I sent the Tether over to KuCoin. Uh, then I bought my PDEX with Tether, all right? So, uh, from there, what you're doing is you're going into KuCoin or wherever you have it and you are sending that to MetaMask, all right? Now, there is probably going to be a fee associated with that. Remember, this is on the Ethereum blockchain. This is where the fees are a little more expensive than everywhere else, all right? Once it shows up in your MetaMask wallet, uh, what you need to do then is go to the Polkadot, Pokedex, excuse me, not Polkadot, the Pokedex.trade website. And on there in the home screen, you have um, a couple of buttons. One uh, says PDEX migration, and another button says mainnet, all right? So you wanna click on the migration button. So pretty easy to follow. Now, there are two buttons in here after you've clicked that, that they say, um, you know, connect a wallet, right? So what we're doing here is we're connecting our MetaMask wallet and we're connecting our Polkadot.js wallet. So all you have to do is hit connect, and that's it, they're in there, right? Super easy. Um, now, once you hit the migrate button, uh, it just takes a little time, it'll happen real time, so you can sit there and watch it basically, and they'll migrate right over into the polkadot.js wallet, and then at the bottom it'll be grayed out, so you can't like migrate it in reverse or anything, all right? So, really simple, okay? Now, what you do from here, basically you've done the full migration, that, that's how hard it is, right? I think anyone could do this. Uh, but, you know, so I think sometimes people get uh, feel this is a little bit of a daunting task with crypto. It's a little bit scary. You don't really know what you're doing. You're sending money through different channels, right? But it really is pretty easy when you break it down like this, right? Now, from here, we just go back to the main page. And now we're going to click on that main net button, all right? So, once you've uh, done that, it will essentially uh, look like this in the image here. Now, if you hit the accounts button, you can see your PDEX uh, just as it is in this screenshot. And so uh, step one here is to click the network button and in the dropdown, you'll see staking. So click that. Step two is click on the option for targets. Now this is a little bit different depending on some of the other videos and this, this is sort of my change on here. So we wanna look at the targets first because these are the list of validators. So this is where you'll be staking your PDEX and they'll be uh, giving you those rewards, all right? Now, uh, what's important here essentially is, uh, first of all, uh, who is nominating? So on the list, you can see uh, on the far left, if they have a green hand icon, uh, that means that they're nominated, all right? So they're, they're taking those nominators now. Okay, great. Uh, you can also uh, see other important factors uh, that you really need to look at, especially when you're choosing your validators. So the reason we're doing this now is because you can see more info on this page than later when you're actually staking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all these factors, see what we like, and then we're gonna write down probably three or four names, all right? So what you're looking at here, commission, 
right? So how much commission are they going to make? Uh, own stake, this is a big one, I think, is how much is the validator staking of their own PDEX, right? So the more they have staked, the more skin in the game. That's a good thing. It gets a little riskier if you're picking somebody that doesn't have hardly anything staked of their own, right? So we want somebody who's got a, a good amount staked. Um, then the most important thing, obviously, is the return percentage. So this is the reward rate. So once you've essentially chosen three or four validators that you've liked by looking at the list, uh, write down their names, including if they have a number behind them. Uh, so for example, some of these uh, validators will have the same name for like three or four of them, and then they differentiate by, you know, validator one, validator two, validator three, validator four, whatever it is, right? So you need to know uh, which number you're, you're going with also, all right? Now, step three is to then click on account actions, then click on the button that is uh, basically a plus sign nominator. So once you're in this screen, all you do is you select the amount of PDEX you want to stake. Uh, you do have the option here to, to uh, select exactly if you want all of this coming back in rewards or where you want it going. I, I just left this alone, all right? It's already defaulted where it needs to be. You really don't need to mess with that, okay? So uh, you select the amount of PDEX that you want to stake and you click next. Uh, then here's where you need to find those validators from the list that we looked at earlier. Uh, you select the ones you want, you click bond and nominate, all right? Now lastly, the last thing you have to do here is to sign the transaction. So anytime there's a transaction on any of your crypto wallets, you essentially have to sign the transaction. All you're doing is entering your password for that wallet. So in this case, you're entering your password for the polkadot.js wallet. That's it. <laughs> you're done. Now you can start getting 70% rewards on PDEX, right? So, you know, the one thing I would say here is that those Ethereum gas fees are pretty annoying. Uh, I think when I did this, it was maybe like, I, I, I paid a decent amount, it seemed like, in the gas fee, but this was still well worth it to move it from KuCoin over here and to stake it uh, on the PDEX mainnet, so Polkadex mainnet. So definitely um, just make sure you have enough money to cover that, all right? So lastly, um, one other item here, since I just mentioned the gas fees, is that um, when you are selecting, there is a 28-day bonding period. So when you select bond and nominate, you're basically going with these validators for 28 days a month. Okay, that's what it is. You're securing the network for a month. Now, if you decide on day three that you know what, you don't like the validators you picked, you want your money back, bad move. That's a really bad move, okay? And the reason why is that the fee is significant. Like this, this could take like half of your PDEX that you have on there. So you never ever want to do that, all right? So that's why you have to be absolutely certain of the validators uh, once you have found the ones that you like, okay? So don't, don't ever get yourself in that scenario, right? So to recap, step one was buy PDEX, easy. Step two, send PDEX to MetaMask, easy. Step three, migrate PDEX, PDEX excuse me, <laughs> from MetaMask to Polkadot.js. And step four is stake PDEX by picking validators, allocating how much you want to stake, and then signing the wallet transaction. Easy, super easy. Now, as I said earlier, I am in the US and I easily did this, and we normally do not have opportunities like this, so this is kind of rare, and it's definitely worth taking advantage of, right? Now, Polkadex uh, itself also has videos on how to migrate as well as how to stake on their YouTube channel. So if you still are having trouble, by all means check those out. Pablo from Pokedex is uh, narrating the video and it's, it's really helpful, it's super easy to follow, all right? So the bottom line then um, for some final thoughts on this is it is a no-brainer to be staking PDEX. Okay, so first of all, PDEX itself in, the, in, in Pokedex, the project, right? 
is a really good project. It is on what I arguably think is probably the best blockchain out there in Polkadot, all right? Uh, I'm a big proponent of Polkadot. I, I really like it. The more I learn about it, the more I like. It's really good, okay? So PDEX is on Polkadot. It has so many um, good things going for it that TPS, the high frequency trading, it's got bots, it's good. I mean, their, their whole, th everything they've got is really good. And by the way, you can find all of this information is simply just with a Google search. You can Google Polkadex Medium and go to their Medium page and you can see all the different updates they've done here. Uh, that chart that I mentioned in my prior video, that's in one of those. I mean, you can just see how it separates itself from the competition. And the bottom line is when it is fully operational, this, by all accounts, will be probably the best decentralized exchange in crypto, all right? So, in the meantime, right now, um, I think as of this video, when I was looking at it on CoinMarketCap, it was uh, ranked like number 644. The market cap was like 45 million. I mean, it, it, it's like nothing. So in terms of potential here, massive potential for this thing to go up in value. And then you tack on these huge staking rewards that are out there right now. I mean, 70%, that is just crazy, right? So I will take 70% all day, every day. And it was even higher than that. Even when it goes down, I mean, this thing could drop, you know, substantially in terms of what it's paying in rewards, and it would still be awesome. It would still be the highest rewards that you're probably getting just about anywhere, okay? So it is a no-brainer to stake PDEX. And PDEX itself as a project is a really, really good project, all right? Uh, the team that's behind it is really good. Uh, you know, the team that's behind po Polkadot is really good. And so um, there is just so much potential here on so many different levels that it, it's, it's kind of one of these rare projects where everything lines up and it's really good. All right. So the bottom line is that it's an opportunity that you absolutely need to take advantage of um, if you have the ability to do so. Okay. So... I'm staking mine now. I'm planning on just leaving that there for quite a while, right? And, you know, it, one thing I really like about this, too, is, you know, with staking coins, it, it, you, you really don't care what the market's doing. You know, there, there's there been so much talk on CT about the cycles, right? And the cycles and what's happening and it should go up or it's going down or, you know, the sky's falling, whatever. Even if, even if all of the cycle information stays true and it keeps going at the very worst you know we would lose roughly 75 to 80 percent of the value next year one year the three years following is where everything goes up so in each cycle where people really make their money is by buying when it's really low when everything's down and then it goes up for three years in a row and then it goes down again okay that's kind of how the whole thing moves so the bottom line here is if you're staking your pdex you really don't care right you don't care and so you're you're simply just adding more and more and more and then whether it goes down for a year who cares three years uh, after that or you know three years after that year uh, each year it's going up <laughs> So, so anyway, uh, you know, I really like PDEX. Um, I, I love the project, like the team. I like what they've done. And I think that things like this in crypto are sometimes a little daunting, especially for people who only use a, a centralized exchange like a Coinbase or a Voyager. And the, this puts extra steps into that. But if you break them down, they're actually really easy to do, okay? So... That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, don't forget that I am also on Twitter at KIR Finance, where you can find me tweeting and retweeting on a regular basis, so check me out there. I've also got uh, my own merch shop now that you can find directly uh, through YouTube. Uh, there's a link there for store, and it's got some of the things in there. Uh, you can also go to curefinance.myspreadshop.com. Uh, for those, you know, various designs from the channel, as well as my LDC Skulls NFTs. I've also got those for sale on uh, OpenSea.io. 
uh, where I'm continuously minting those and I will probably be minting them well into next year uh, to get my full 10,000, but that is going to happen. I'm determined to do it. It's like running a marathon. <laughs> we'll get there eventually, right? Uh, and then lastly, for a friendly reminder, this is Jesse with Keeping It Real Finance, a channel that always says your back and tells it like it is, and I will see you on the next one. Later.